Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making these little elephants. These are what I consider a no-sew body, which means the head, trunk, arms, body, and legs are all one piece. So we'll start with making the pieces and then we'll attach everything from the top of the head down as we go. And then we will have to sew on the ears the little tusks, and any of the little extra embroidering that we do. For this video, I will be using a number four medium weight yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook, and 14 millimeter safety eyes. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And don't forget, if you enjoy this or any of my other videos, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, we are going to start with the arms and legs, and they are going to be exactly the same, except for the last row, we're going to be adding three stitches onto the arm. And you're either going to be starting with an accent color, or if you want them to be all the same color, um, just follow along and skip the color change when we get um, right there. So you can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be making a knot with a loop on the end like I was going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one, and remember that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, and we're going over our tail, four, five, whoopsie, six. And then pull your tail to close that hole if you have one. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. Oops. So increase one and two in the same stitch. Increase three and four in the same stitch. Increase five and six in the same stitch. Increase seven and eight in the same stitch. Increase nine and ten in the same stitch and our last increase eleven and twelve in the same stitch row three we are going to be doing one single crochet one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of eighteen and when we get to this last stitch we're going to be changing color so one single crochet and an increase for two and three. And just repeat that around. Four, 
increase, 5 and 6, 7, increase, 8 and 9, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17, and our 18th, we're going to go in, grab our yarn, pull up, and leave those two loops on the hook so we can change our color. And I'm going to cut my old color and then grab my new color. And now we're just going to attach our old color to our new color by tying it nice and close to the hook a couple of times. And you're going to grab that new color and pull it through those last two loops of the last stitch to finish off that row. For row four, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, oops, that tail's in my way, two, and an increase. Three and four. Five. Six. Increase. Seven and eight. Nine. Ten. Increase. Eleven and twelve. Thirteen. 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our increase, 23 and 24. For row 5, we are going to be going in the front loops of the last row. So for the front loops, instead of going under both sides of that V, we're going to come down and up through the center of the V, and that will leave the back loops for our next row. So for row five in the front loops only, 24 single crochets all the way around and make sure you start in the next stitch and don't miss that little stitch there in the front. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then if you just have a check to see if you're doing it right, you should now have a line of back loops showing, which we will be going into in the next row. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. 
Now we are going to join into the next stitch with a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one. Now for the next row, we're going to be going in these back loops, just straight through. And make sure you are starting in your first back loop. So right over here is my first one. And so for row six, we're going to do 24 single crochets in the back loops only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and you might have to dig for that last stitch. I think that's right there. I'm going to grab it with my end and hook it and pull it up a bit. Twenty-four. Row seven, we are going to be doing two single crochets and one decrease, repeating that all the way around for a total of 18. And when you go to start, make sure you're not going in that chain one. You're going in the next stitch behind your first single crochet. So one, two, and a decrease. Four, three, four, five, and a decrease, four, six, seven, eight, and a decrease, four, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. I forgot to flip my stitch marker, but I know I'm in the right spot because there's my chain one space, so my next stitch will go right there behind it. Row eight, we are going to just do 18 single crochets all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, three, four, oops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. 
row nine, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one decrease for two, three decrease for four, five decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for 10, 11, and our last decrease for 12. Rows 10 to 18, we are just going to be doing 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. So that is 9 rows of 12. 9 times 12 is 108. So I'm going to count 108 and flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flipping my marker, keep on counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 
70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, flipping my marker, keep on counting. This should be our last row. 97, 98, 99, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight. Now, if this is your legs, you're going to have two um, legs. Um, you're going to stop here. And then if this is your arm, you'll need two of those. And you're just going to do a three more single crochets in the next row. So one two, three. And you, if you leave your stitch markers in or mark the last stitch, then you'll know which is which um, because one you'll end here and one you'll end with three more stitches. Okay, so let's put some stuffing in. So we are gonna want to put the majority of the stuffing in the bottom. I'm just going to get mine down in the very bottom here. And I'm kind of going to use the palm of my hand to keep the bottom flat and then push the stuffing a bit out to the sides. And then we want to about half stuff the top of the leg. So we want it to be kind of in a triangle. So this will be firm here, this will be soft, and then there'll be none basically right in the end here. So I'm stuffed to about right there. And then we'll put our hook back in. I'm gonna take my stitch marker out now. And we're going to do five single crochets across through both sides, the front and the back. So you're going to go in your next stitch. Then you're going to go in your last stitch on the other side. And then we're going to single crochet around that. So that's one. In the next two stitches, front and back, two, in the next, three, in the next, four, and in the last one, five. And then you'll tie that off. Leave yourself a little bit of a tail on the legs. Um, not too long, and then you leave yourself a little bit longer on the arms. So if you've just finished your first one, I will put a screenshot over in the next frame with a timestamp. So you can go back to the beginning and do your other three. 
if you are done all four, um, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. All right, now we're going to do the trunk. And again, you can start any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'm going to make my knot with the loop on the end, like I was going to make a chain. Grab my yarn, chain one. And remember that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop over our tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So again, that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten and our last increase eleven and twelve row three we are going to do twelve single crochets in the front loops all the way around for a total of twelve so make sure you're getting in that first one And just in that front loop, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and chain one. Row four, we're going to go in the back loops of the row we just were in. So starting right here, 12 single crochets all the way around. So one, oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and then dig for that last stitch of 12. Rows 5 to 8 is going to be 12 single crochets all the way around. 
and I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's four rows of 12. Four times 12 is 48. So we're going to do 48 single crochets and I'm going to flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. And again, remember, you don't want to, you want to skip that chain one you made and then go into that next stitch. 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I'm going to flip my marker and keep on counting, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Row nine, we are gonna do one increase, five single crochets, a decrease, and then four single crochets to finish off the row for a total of 12. So increase, one and two in the same stitch. And then we're gonna do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're gonna do a decrease. And now we're gonna do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Row 10, we're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, five single crochets, one decrease, and three single crochets. So one single crochet, oh, for a total of 12, sorry. Um, one increase. So one and two in the same stitch, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one decrease, and three single crochets, one, two, three. Row 11, we are gonna do two single crochets, one increase, five single crochets, 
one decrease and two single crochets for a total of 12. So two single crochets, one, two, one increase. So one and two in the same stitch, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one decrease, and then two single crochets, one and two. Row 12, we're going to do three single crochets, one increase, then we're going to do five single crochets, one decrease, and then one single crochet at the end for a total of 12. Whoop. So three single crochets, one, two, three, and then an increase, one and two in the same stitch. And then five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease, and one single crochet. Rows 13 and 14, we're going to do four single crochets, an increase, five single crochets, and a decrease for a total of 12. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do an increase. So one and two in the same stitch. Then we're going to do five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease. So this will be row 14, we're just repeating our previous row. Four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do our increase. So one and two in the same stitch, and we're going to do five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease. Row 15, we're going to do five single crochets, one increase, four single crochets, and a decrease for a total of 12. So five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then our increase, one and two in the same stitch. And we're going to do four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and one decrease. Rows 16 and 17, we're going to do one decrease, four single crochets, one increase, and then five single crochets for a total of 12. So start with a decrease, then four single crochets, one, two, three, Four, and then we're going to do our increase, 
one and two in the same stitch. And then we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. For row 17, we're just repeating the previous row. One decrease. Four single crochets. One, two, three, four. One increase. One and two in the same stitch and then five single crochets. One, two, three, whoopsie, four, and five. Row 18, we're gonna do two single crochets, one increase, and repeat that all the way around for a total of 16. So one, two, and an increase, three and four. And repeat that around, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, 13, 14, and our last increase, 15 and 16. And row 19, we are just gonna do 16 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whoops, fifteen, 16. And then, um, so that we have our end in the right spot, we are going to do four more single crochets, just so we're on the side. One, two, three, and four. Oops, and then we're going to slip stitch. And do leave a bit of a tail, because even though we're not sewing this on, we are going to use this, because um, when we put it on the elephant, there will probably be a little bit of a hole left when we um, go around. So you want to make sure you have a little bit to sew that hole closed. I guess we could add a little bit of stuff in here too as well. I stuffed mine after it was sewn on and it was a little tricky since I went all the way to the last three rows before I stuffed it. So I had to go through his whole body and half his head and try and get it how I wanted it. So I'm not stuffing it too firm because we will want to try and kind of, even though it has a curve to it, we're going to try and want to bend it a bit manually as well. So I'm just going to stuff it to there so we have a little bit of room um, to work when we're attaching it. We'll just put that off to the side and start on the next part. So now we are going to be starting at the top of his head. 
and again you can start any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one I'll be making my knot with the loop on the end like I was going to make a chain insert my hook grab my yarn chain one remember that does not count as a stitch we're just attaching our yarn to our loop and for row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop over our tail so one two three four five six and pull on that tail if you need to close the hole grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two we're going to do six increases so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. so increase one and two increase three and four increase five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten our last increase eleven and twelve row three we are going to do one single crochet one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. so one increase two and three four increase five and six seven increase eight and nine ten increase eleven and twelve thirteen increase fourteen and fifteen sixteen and our last increase seventeen and eighteen row four we are going to do two single crochets one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. one two and an increase three and four five six and an increase seven and eight nine ten and an increase eleven and twelve thirteen fourteen and an increase fifteen and sixteen seventeen eighteen and an increase nineteen and twenty 21, oops, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase four and five six seven eight and an increase nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen and an increase 14 and 15 16 17 
18 and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23 and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are going to do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row 7. We are going to do five single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and an increase, 20 and 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our last increase, 41 and 40. Two. All right, rows 8 to 11 are going to be 42 single crochets, and I'm going to use my row counter for that, and that's four rows of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row eight. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So that was row nine. Another row of forty-two single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 10. We have one more row left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was our row 11. Now we're going to be adding um, the trunk in the next row. Make sure your work is curving this way and you're working here on this side and not back here. If you're somehow got twisted and your work is like this, you're going to end up sewing the trunk on the wrong side because that's considered the wrong way most to most people. So make sure it's curved this way and your hook is on this side. Okay, for row 12, we are going to start by doing 17 single crochets. Then we're going to do 8 through the trunk and 17 on the other side. So we'll start with our 17 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now grab your trunk and you're going to want the little, um, little divot or where you chained, you want that facing your work and so it's curving kind of away from you. And we're going to be going on this back side so you want that folded so that the curve is where you want it. So make sure it's curving straight back from you best as you can and then you're going to go in that first side in the back side so I'm right there and then you're going to go in the next stitch of the head so that was our last stitch this is our next stitch and we're going to do eight single crochets across like that through the nose or the trunk and then through the head. So 
that's one through the trunk through the next stitch of the head that's twice through the trunk through the head that's three times through the trunk through the head that's four times through the trunk through the head that's five through the trunk through the head that's six through the trunk through the head so that's seven and then through the trunk and through the head that's eight and then we're just going to leave that for now and now we're going to continue on in the next stitch and do 17 single crochets to the end so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen Okay, for the next row, we are going to do the exact same thing, 17 single crochets. Then we're going to go on this side of the trunk and then 17 single crochets around the back side. Um, for some reason, when I go over a slip stitch, I add a stitch somehow. So we might have to count backwards. Um, so we get our 17 single crochets and our hole is on this side. So if you're not using a stitch marker put one in now just in case you need to know where your row started and ended even if it's just taking a spare scrap of thread and putting it across like this for now and then you'll know where your next um, row starts and ends so for row 13 we're going to start with 17 single crochets one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And now we're going to go into our next stitch. Eh, I feel like it's right here. And we're going to do eight. Yeah, there's my single crochet on the other side. So we're going to do eight single crochets across the trunk here. Try and keep this one stitch nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you're where I am, you want to go all the way across under your knot, I believe, for eight. Now, we're not going to worry about what's happening right here. What we're going to do is find where our last row ended. So that's this is where our last stitch is going to be, right behind this single crochet here. And we're going to count 17 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I want to go right in that stitch right there. 
and then our stitch count should be right. So 17 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and right on the spot, seventeen. And for row 14, we are just going to do 42 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, whoops. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, make sure you're going in the right stitches, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Well, I must have done something right here because I can't find a hole where there should be one. So right here, usually you have a hole. There is a tiny little bit of one, but um, when you put your tusks on, that could be covered. But I'm just going to show you what to do in case you do have a hole because I do have a tiny little stitch that's open there. So all you'll do you'll so just come and weave back and forth. See, this is where I'm considering a hole right here. We'll just grab a stitch on this side and then a stitch on this side. And you're just gonna go back and forth until you feel like you have that little piece of hole closed. Um, try to pick stitches that aren't gonna make a hole somewhere else. Um, usually I would do about three times. But I think I'm only doing twice here. You can just double check by turning it over and sticking your finger where the hole was. And it looks fine to me, although this is a bit concerning here. I might just put one there too. So wherever you're happy with them. Hmm, I don't know what. What did I do? I think I went around my... I did. I went around my working yarn. So I'm still gonna fix that little spot. Making sure I don't make a hole somewhere else. Then when you're happy with it, double check with your finger on this side and then just give it a tie. Um, 
We're also, I think we might as well put the eyes on right now. So if you're waiting while I do this, you can start grabbing your eyes. I'm just going to trim that off. We don't need that for anything else. All right, so let's center our nose a little bit here. It doesn't matter too much because you're going to use your nose kind of for a reference of center. Um, and we are going to be putting these between rows 9 and 10. So this um, starting loop is row 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right here in between rows nine and ten. Figure out if you're about center. That seems pretty good. Sometimes I'm in a stitch, sometimes I'm in a hole. I'm gonna try the hole. And we're gonna go over four holes from where my pin is. So one two, three, four. So I'm just on the outside of the trunk here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. See if you can kind of tell if they're centered. So this is where my nose is. I think they're okay. If you are happy with them, then you can put them on. So we'll grab the backs. Slide the backs on each end. Now we'll get our hook back in and we will start our decrease rows. So for row 15, we are going to do five single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and a decrease for 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and a decrease for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease for 36. Row 16, we are going to do five single crochets, a one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. 
for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10, 11, 12, oops, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, whoopsie, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 17, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 18, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen, 16, 17, and our last decrease for 18. We're going to do the arms next. So let's get those out. Now, for some reason, you have mixed your arms and your legs up and you're not sure. What you want to do is make sure when the divot is on the downside that you have your point and your strings up at the top. So divot, that's your divot where you made that chain. And your strings are coming up. If you had a leg and you put the divot down, see that, whoop, that string's coming out the side. There's your divot. So you wanna make sure you have the right pieces. I mean, the only thing is your divot will show if you do the wrong one. 
And usually I show you how to place your arms if you're not in the same spot as me, but we are right out of space because I centered the nose. So hopefully um, you're in the same spot as me. If not, you're gonna have to adjust your stitches a little bit if your arms seem crooked. So we're gonna start with four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now grab your arm and remembering that this is your back side, you want your strings pointing to the front, the divot um, with the chain one pointing to the back. And you're gonna go through the first stitch of the arm. Yeah, everything where you belong. And then the next stitch of the head. So just like when you did the trunk, and we're gonna do five single crochets across. So that's one through the arm, through the next stitch of the head. That's two through the arm, through the next stitch of the head. That's three. Through the arm, through the next stitch of the head, that's four. And then through the arm, and the next stitch of the head. And now we're going to do four single crochets across the front. Make sure you go in the right stitch. One, two, three, four. And now grab your other arm. Again, you want the strings pointing the front and that divot or chain pointing towards the back. And you can go through the arm and the next stitch of the head. And we're gonna go five across again. One, through the arm and through the head. Two, through the arm, through the head. Three, through the arm, through the head. Four, and through the arm, through the head, and that is our last stitch of the row. All right, row 20, we are gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. And again, make sure you're starting in the right stitch. One, two, increase, three and four and just repeat that around five six increase seven and eight nine ten increase 11 and 12 and make sure you don't go over these strings you want them on the outside 13 14 increase 15 and 16 17 18 increase 19 and 20 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row 21 is just going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 22 is going to be three single crochets one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. so one two three and an increase four and five six seven eight and an increase, nine and 10. 11, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 23 is going to be four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, what? 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and our last increase, 35 and 36. Rows 24 to 29 are just gonna be 36 single crochets all the way around, so that's six rows. And I am going to use my row counter for that. 
So let's begin first row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So that was row 24. And another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, Thirty-five, thirty-six. So that was row twenty-five, and another row of thirty-six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 
Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. That was row twenty-six. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 27. And another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, that was row 28. Um, this should be our last row. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And that was row 29. Row 30, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. Where's my stitch? There it is. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 31, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five. Six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. I think the leg rows are next, so I think let's put the, some stuffing in now so the legs aren't in our way and we can get that head stuffed good. So we're gonna wanna put quite a bit um, up into the head. We want it stuffed quite firmly
And I just like to hold on around the neck, kind of save myself from stretching it. So I've got the top kind of packed in there. And now what I'm going to want to do is put a little bit in the trunk. So we're going to just kind of stick our fingers up into that spot, kind of right here. And what we want to do is kind of be making it curve down and then out. Um, I did tack down um, this one right here, like, like that. So if you are worried that your um, trunk isn't looking how you want it, you can fix that at the end. So we want it just to kind of have a kind of a smooth, smooth, uh, a smooth flow kind of coming down like this. And then just keep on stuffing the inside of the head. Maybe kind of go out a bit to the sides. Careful though not to stretch your stitches at the neck. That's what I always end up doing. A little bit more in there. See I'm starting to stretch right here. So we want to be careful. So I think that's good. It's not super firm, but I think for what we're doing, it'll be good enough. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in the body. The body will be fairly loosely stuffed, but we'll worry about that once we get a little further down the line. All right. All right, so now we are going to put the legs on. And usually I show you how to measure in case we're not in the same spot, but I've only got one stitch to spare, so I'm going to cross my fingers that we are all in the same spot. If not, you will have to adjust a little bit so they're centered in the front. All right, so we are going to begin with 11 single crochets. Then we're gonna do five in the leg, then we're gonna do two in the front, five in the other leg, and I believe we have one stitch left over at the end. Okay, so 11 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we should be somewhere right under the center of the arm here. Now you're going to grab a leg and you want um, this little divot to be on the back side so that the front side here is facing his body because since he's upside down when we flip him around we want that little that little mark to be more on the bottom all right so now let's we're going to do five single crochets across here. So through the leg and through the next stitch of the body, just like we did with the arms and the trunk. So that's one through the leg and the body. That's twice through the leg and the body that's three times watch you don't catch any of the stuffing through the leg the next stitch of the body that's four and through the leg and the next stitch of the body that's five 
Now throw this tail on the inside and go over it. And then we are going to do two single crochets in the front. One, two. Now grab your other leg, same thing. Make sure this little um, divot where you chain one is facing you. Whoop. And again, through the leg and the body, we'll be doing five single crochets across. Make sure you're getting in that next stitch. One, through the leg and the body, through the leg and the body, again, two, through the leg and the body, that's three, through the leg and the body, that's four, and through the leg and the body, that's five. Flip your string in, your tail. <laughs> I need more hands here. And then you should have one single crochet left unless you had to adjust for some reason so they're in the center. Now we have three rows left. If you need to add stuffing before we do any more decreasing, do that now and I will be doing mine after we do a couple more rows. So for row 33, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. Ten. Oops, got some stuffing there. Eleven. And a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. Row 24, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, and a decrease for two, three, and a decrease for four, five and a decrease for six seven and a decrease for eight nine and a decrease for ten eleven and a decrease for 12. So we have one more row left. If you haven't already, put whatever stuffing you think you need in. And 
and I want to make sure that I'm getting enough in the back side so that when he's sitting um, he's he doesn't want to flop around forward or backward and we want to have the bottom flat so flat like this but kind of protruding out on the back end it's probably enough I might put just a touch more in I always tend to put too much in, but it does relax a little bit, so. And so for row 25, we are just going to be doing six decreases. One and sorry, mine are gonna look awkward. It's just because my hands are straight out and I can't twist my hook the way I need to. Two, three, remember these are decreases. Four. and six can't even get in there there we go and then you're just gonna slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off Leave enough of a tail that you can sew um, the bottom closed. And I'm going to take my stitch marker right out now. And grab your darning needle. Oops, where'd that guy come from? Thread your end onto your needle. And then you're just gonna weave in and out of the top loop of your last row of stitches. One more there. Pull that closed. Then you're just going to tie it in a knot somewhere nice and close to the center. And then tuck that inside somewhere and out the back. And we'll give that a cut. All right. Don't worry about that there. Let's put our arm strings in now. So you're going to thread your um, darning needle. Then you're going to bring these threads down in the last stitch um, where you attached your arm to your head. And then out the back center. Then you're going to do the same thing with the other arm string. So down in the last stitch where your arm and your head met, 
and then you're going to come out that exact same hole that you brought the other piece of yarn out of. Give them one tie, keeping track of your ends. So what I do is I take them and then I wrap them around the neck. Turn your guy around. And then you're going to pull on those strings to bring your arms in. One's going and one's not. There we go. So however you figure you want them to be. This one's not going good. I don't know why. And then you'll just secure them in the back with a couple more ties. I think I dropped my oh god I fell off of there. And then you'll just re-thread your needle and put these ends out the back. So go right where you came out and then down out the back somewhere. I think I put a little bit too much stuffing in this trunk. Okay, we're going to be making the ears next, and I'm just trying to figure out the easiest way to do this because all four of them, the two insides and two outsides, are going to be this exact shape, and then we are going to um, go all the way around like this to attach them together. So I think what I'm going to do is have you make one inside, go back, make one outside follow me along doing the sewing them together and then you'll go back to the beginning again and you'll do another inside another outside and then follow stitching them together if you need to and i will have time stamps um, in between the two in a screenshot so you can go back and forth as you need to it sounds confusing, but I promise you it will make sense as we go through it. Okay, so remember your first one is going to be the inside in your accent color. And then you're going to come back and do your second one in your elephant color. So you can begin any way you prefer. I am going to be making my knot with the loop on the end like I was going to be making a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. That's just joining our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we're going to do six single crochets into the loop going over top of the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to turn. So we're working on the back side now. We'll be going into this stitch right there. For row two, we are going to do three increases three single crochets for a total of nine. So increase once, increase twice, increase a third time. And then we're going to do three single crochets to the end. One, two, and 
three. Then we're going to chain one and turn. So we're on the other side again. And this will be our first stitch right here. Row three, we're going to do five single crochets, three increases, and then one single crochet at the end. So one single crochet, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do three increases. So increase once, increase twice, and increase three times, or a third time, I guess. And then we have one single crochet left. Try and make sure you're getting under both sides of the V there. I didn't. Chain one and then turn again. And remember that's where you'll start your next stitch. Row four, we're going to do two single crochets, three increases, and then seven single crochets for a total of 15. So two single crochets, one, two, then three increases. One increase, two increases, and three increases. And then we're going to do seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one and turn. We'll be going into this stitch right here. Row five, we're going to do nine single crochets, three increases, and three single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three increases. One increase, two increases, and three increases. And then we have three single crochets left. One, two, three. Chain one and turn. Row six, we're going to do four single crochets, three increases, and then 11 single crochets. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do three increases. One increase, two increase, and three increases. And then 11 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10 and 11. Chain one and turn. Row seven, we're going to be doing 13 single crochets, three increases, and then five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now we're going to do three increases. So one increase, two increase, and three increases. And then we should have five single crochets left. One, two, three, four, five. So if this is your first inside right now, you're going to tie that off. Um, you don't need much of a tail, just enough to tuck inside the ear. And now there'll be a screenshot in the next frame so you can go back and do your outside of the ear. And I will meet you back right here so we can put them together and sew around. Okay, if you've um, continued on, you should now have one inside and one outside. I'm going to be going in the first one, putting them together and going around this way. Um, if you are on your second one, don't forget it goes the other way. So you're going to put them together like this. And you're going to sew around this way because you want the insides facing you um, no matter which way you're going. So this ear, you'll be facing this way and going around this way. The ear we're doing now is going to go this way, inside facing, and we're going to go around this way. Okay. I did not think how tricky this would be when I did this. Most important part is remember the insides facing you and then that way, um, whichever way feels comfortable for going around. So I'm going to chain one on my outside color and then I'm going to go through my inside at the top corner and then through my outside at the top corner. Make a single crochet. And then I'm just going to go around trying to match up the both sides. Oh, that should go in there easier than that. And as we're going around, I'm just going about one stitch for every hole or line. I'm not really counting, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not really counting my stitches, but what I am going to make sure is when I get to this center loop that I'm going in both of the center loops in the front and the back. So one more before I get there. No, two more. So just wherever you feel they fit. Make sure you're, so I'm going through the center loop where we first started on both sides, making sure those strings are all on the inside. 
And then I'm just going to continue down, matching up my stitches best I can. Then when you get to the point, I put two on one side and two on the other side. And then just remember that for when you do your second ear, because you're going to be going the opposite way. When you get down to the point, you're going to do two on each side or however you did it on the first ear. Now I'm just going to follow my stitches back up. So right now we're going on the outside of the ear. We're coming around the one corner. This will be the top corner of his ear on the outside. And now this will be the top of his ear. I want to make sure that's on the inside before I get that too closed. And now we're back at the beginning and I'm just going to put two in the end here and another one maybe if I can get in there. Another one down in there. So I have four stitches. Um, the one I started, the one I just ended, and then two over here. Then I'm just going to slip stitch in that first stitch where I started. I'm going to tie that off, leaving enough of a tail um, to stitch this part right here onto um, the side of your elephant's head. And then we might as well fold this down and finish off this ear before we move on. So right, so we got this row, our second row, and right here I'm going to make a bit of a fold line like this. And we're just going to tack this end down a bit. Just because we had to go the opposite way on the ear, we're kind of not quite finishing in the same spot. And if we do this, then we can have our yarn on the same side. So I'm just going to go in and out a couple of times. Just oops, make sure you're on the other side of a stitch. I want to end up here, so I'm going to go back one more time. And I see I got a little piece of my knot there. I might just grab a piece of yarn there and cover that up. And then when you feel like you've got that tacked down good enough, that's where we'll, we'll leave it until it's time to sew it on.
So if you've just completed your first year, there will be a screenshot with timestamps to go all the way to back to do an inside and then go back and do an outside and then follow along, making sure you go the opposite way with the inside facing you for your second year. And if you've done both ears, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. All right, let's pin the ears on now. So we want to start, make sure you get the right ear. We want to start in the center of the head going this way, about three rows down. So this is one, two, three. So right in here is where we're going to start our ear. So let's pin that on in the third, between the third and the fourth, and just kind of make sure you're staying in the center, pull your ear down, and then wherever it kind of goes naturally, that's where you're going to put your other pin. So mine's going to kind of be right here, it's even with the bottom, it's even with the bottom of this eye. So kind of just where it starts fanning out this way. And I think I'm going to put that back one more stitch. Just kind of have a look of where it's sitting in relation to your arm. So you want it to be about halfway. I could almost be a little closer. I'm going to go one, one stitch up. So something like that. And of course you can put yours anywhere you want. Um, I might just put one more pin in just as I get started. So thread your needle and all we're going to do is go around from the back up and into one stitch. So we'll go through this row into a stitch, this row into a stitch, this row into a stitch. And don't worry if you're going twice into the same stitch because we have a different amount here than we do here. So I want to get in that first row right under a stitch. across the row. So I'm going like this between rows three and four. Then I'm going to go into my ear right at the top somewhere. Pull that tight. Kind of keep track of what row you're in. Then you're going to come down one row around a stitch. Make sure you are around a stitch. You're coming back out into another stitch of the ear. And for the first two I'm making sure I'm going through both layers of that. Fold, go down one more row, into another stitch of the ear. Go down one more row. Into another stitch of the ear. Just match them up as you go. Keep track of what row you just went in so you know what row the next one's going in. through a stitch of the ear. Down one more row. Through a stitch of the ear. Down one more row. the next 
next stitch of the ear. Now I'm getting close to the bottom, so this is where I'm stopping. I've only got one or two. I might go one more. So again, down that next row, round a stitch through the ear, and then down around that last row. I'm just one row under the eye. And through the last stitch. And I'm going to go in that one twice. Just so that's a little more secure. Before I knot it. Then I'm just going to knot it on the back. Nice and close to the ear somewhere. Give it a tie. And then I'm going to put that down as close as I can to a hole where I tied my knot. And then out the center, kind of even where I just finished. And now we have to match up the other ear, how we just did that one. So we're going to go down three rows. So one, two, three. So between rows three and four is where we want to pin that ear. Make sure we are about the same spot going across. And then pull that down, and we're going to pin the bottom. So our last one, we ended up right here, one row under our eye. So we want to pin that in that row. And if you want, you can just double check by counting your stitches back from the eye. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it seems like it's pretty even. I might move this up one little bit. Have a look. If you feel like they're even, you can look at them this way. I think they're good enough. So thread your needle. Now we're going to make sure we go around that stitch right. We're going to go around this one. Don't really need that pin there now, but maybe I'll put it there just to hold it. So again, we're going around a row, or around the stitch of a row, then into the ear. Down a row. Up through the st um, stitch and then through the ear, keeping track of what row you're going in and out of. So I need to go in this row next. Make sure you're catching a stitch all the time and not just going around the ear. So down a row and around the stitch, then into the ear. Down a row, around the stitch, into the ear. Oh, where was I? Okay, I'm going here. Down a row, around the stitch into the ear. Down a row, around the stitch. Into the ear. Down a row, right there. Yep. 
getting kind of sideways looks like, so I'm going to come up one into the ear. And then in our last one where our pin was, and then through our last stitch. And we did it twice on the other one, so we're going to do it twice on this one. So we should be using a colored needle on this gray shintai. It's kind of late now. And then we're just going to tie that like we did on the other side, nice and close to the back of the ear somewhere. Bring that down in the hole and out where we brought the other one out. So same spot as the other one. And we're going to do like the arms. Tie that one time. Keep track of your ends. Turn your elephant around. And then we're going to pull those tight so we can kind of bring those ears in to give him a bit of a shape on his face. So just like that. However far in you want to bring them. And then secure that on the back. Remembering it will relax a little bit over time. And then we'll get those ends back in. Just gonna put go right back in the hole and then out somewhere out the back. Give those a cut. And um, for the ears, I just kind of pinched them. I went like this, just kind of give them a bit of a curve here. I don't remember how I did that ones did really well. Kind of like a butterfly wing, kind of, I guess. Oop. All right, let's do the tail. Um, we're going to leave a bit of a length for tying it on. And we're just going to make a knot with a loop because we are going to be chaining this time. So we're going to insert our hook and we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and in the second chain from the hook, so not the one on your hook, not this first one, but the second one here, we are going to do slip stitches all the way down to the end. One, two, three, four, and five. And you can make it longer if you want. I thought five was a good number. And if you do that, you'll just chain one more than you want it. 
So leave a tail on the other end. Now I'm just going to grab some of my scrap ends from cutting all my pieces. Um, I think three is enough. I'm just going to cut them about the length of my four, hand, four fingers. Four hands. So they are, I don't know, maybe five or six inches long. You can make them any length, but if you can make them a little longer, they're a little easier to deal with. And take your tail. And you're just going to insert your hook in the end. Grab your ends. So they're wrapped over your hook like this. You're going to pull them through the end of your tail to make a loop. And then you're going to get in that loop with your fingers. And then you're going to pull those ends through. So you're just going to make like a little fuzzy end. And if you pull all the pieces, that will tighten up for you nice. And then I'm going to cut mine fairly short. Probably about the length of my thumbnail. Just like that. And we might as well do the tusks now too. So again, leave a bit of a tail. We're going to be tying these on and you're going to make your knot with the loop on the end because we're going to be chaining with these ones as well. So insert your hook and again we are going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, and then in the second chain from your hook, we are going to do two slip stitches down. So one, and then two, and then we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. And then pull, leaving yourself a tail again for this other side. And I kind of, I know I cheated a bit on the tusks. If you wanted to make them nicer, you could go in the round with like three or four stitches and increase every row till they were the size you wanted. But this is how I decided I wanted to do them. And we'll make our second one, leaving a tail, making our knot with the loop on the end. Insert your hook, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, Six, and in the second chain from the loop, slip stitch, slip stitch, and then your three single crochets. One, two, and three. Then tie off, leaving a tail on that end as well. We need to get our darning needle back out. We'll do the tail first. Oh, I left a little hole there. There we go. Decide what side you want up. I want um, where the 
uh, yarn goes across to be my top. So I'm going to make sure I have that side threaded first. And somewhere kind of right around here is where we're going to put it. So I am about one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven, between rows seven and eight. But it doesn't really matter. So just a little off from center, you're going to go in, down, and over. Then you're going to take your other side. And do the same thing. You're going to go over about two stitches. And then down and out where you just came out with your other tail. And you're going to pull that tight. I want that knot to be on the inside if I can get it there. There we go. Then you're just going to give them a tie. Nice and tight. So basically you're going around a stitch. And then you're going to be putting these back on the inside. Where you came out. And then out somewhere in the bottom. Trim those. And then we need to do his little tusks. So we're going to do those exactly the same way. Decide what side you want facing out. And to me, this is the right side um, where you can see the V's. And this is the wrong side where the V's are kind of facing back here. So I, so they curl kind of out. I'm going to look at what I call the right side. Thread that end on. And we want to put them kind of right where our joins were when we put our nose on. So I'm going to put one side here and one side here. And then just come out a row or so down. Thread your other end on. Whoops. And then I'm going to come right here. So this is where my first string went in. This is where my second string is going in. And I'm going to come out in the same spot as the other end. You might have to just play with a little bit. Make sure you get them not pulled in. You can if you want tack that down. I didn't feel like I needed to, but it depends. For the video, I didn't need to, but if you're um, giving this to someone or selling it, you maybe want to tack that down. So I just tied it a couple of times, whoops, and now I'm going to thread the ends on the inside. So I go back in that same hole that I came out of, and I'm just going to come out down here somewhere. And then we'll do that for the same side. So make sure you've got the right side or the same side you had out on the other side. Now we got to match that up. So I want to be in the same row. So I'm thinking. So I started just under that eye. So just under the eye. So I think I'm going to go here and here. Oh, that's a little crooked. Okay. 
just hmm. well I want my second one to be there so I might be going around two stitches see how I got see how I've kind of really stretched that out there when I stuffed it this will hide that And so my other one's going in here. And then out to match the other end. Get those knots in. Give it a tie. And then we'll put those on the inside again. So right where I came out, and you might as well go in the same spot if you can, and then we'll cut all those ends at the same time. Let's give him some whites on his eyes now. And so when I do that, I start in the center somewhere and I'm gonna come out, depending on where you want them, I always seem to put them like this. So I'm gonna come out at the top of the eye Leave some thread here for tying. Then I'm going to go around a little ways, probably about a third of the way around the eye, and then back in. And I want to go in the same spot on this side as I went on this side. So I'm just on the outside. I'm even with the tusk. So. Not too far. I don't think so. And don't pull that too tight or it will slide under the eye. Then I want to match this top stitch over here. So remember I was just above the eye in the center. So I'm going to go there and then I'm going to come back out where I started. And again, don't pull that too tight. And then you're just going to tie that. Check it there. Try it this way. So loose and then slowly tighten as you make more knots. Because if you slide that under the eye, you're going to have a heck of a time getting it out, or you're going to have to do it again. And we just want to pull that back down in the same spot and out the back. Again, gently so you don't pull your eyes. Just lightly getting that knot out of the way, and then if you need to, you can just pull those stitches back. Give those a trim. Get rid of that white if you need to. All right, if you have a darker gray, we're going to put the little stripes across his trunk. And I want them to come just inside his tusks. 
on each side to start. So I'm just going to start at the bottom, come up, leave some tail for tying at the back. I'm going to come across the row and just inside. And then I'm going to come over here. So this is going to go like this. And then I'm going to come out this one just on the next row and a little bit to the inside. And we want to keep that on the looser side. Same thing. Follow the row and go over. And we're going to come out right here. We're just kind of going down a row and then inside a stitch a little bit. So tight enough that it sits inside the, the row, but not so tight that you stretch it. So again, over just inside and down a row. And then this one will be kind of about the same length. And then it will come, unless you only want three, and then it'll come back out where you started so you can tie it. And you'll tie that loosely so you don't pull those stitches. And then we'll hide them in somewhere. I'm just going to keep them in the front here. Give them a trim. And I did tack down the trunk so that it um, kind of sat like this. So I'm going to come through on the center right here, somewhere between his nose and his neck. I'll leave some for tying. Kind of bend that to see where you want it. And go through the matching stitches in the center of his trunk. I'm just going to go around loosely and then tighten it up just to make it easier. Now you can go around as many times as you want. I'm just going to do a couple. Tie it nice and tight. And then thread my ends out. Back down that same hole and I guess I might as well go out the back. Give them a trim. All right, let's pull the eyes in now too. Um, so grab a matching thread to your elephant's body. And we're going to start in the middle of his head, just like we did the outside of the eyes. Only this time we're going to come um, right kind of under and out where the front of his eye is. Um, sometimes I go down, but I think I'm going to go up this time. No, I better go down. Okay. So I'm going to go down just kind of under his eye here, one row down, and I'm going to match this stitch in that same row just under his eye, come up, don't 
Don't pull that too tight yet. Go up a row and back under the eye and out the middle. Now we are going to kind of squeeze our eyes in and pull this at the same time. And sometimes it helps if you knot it first. So you can kind of pull your knot and your eyes in at the same time. Be careful not to break your thread when you're happy with the distance. Give that a tie. And then we'll thread that out the back. Give it a cut. You may need to fix your stitches on this side. Yep. We do. Um, okay, we'll give them a little bit of hair next. So if you still have a couple of fair sized um, scraps of yarn from cutting, I, I'm going to say again, these are probably about five or six inches long. Probably more like five. We're just going to go in our center loop here, right where we started. Come out to the front. At about halfway, we're going to grab onto our little loops of scraps. Bring that up. And I think it's still easier to use our fingers here. We'll grab those and pull them through the loop. And then we'll just tighten those up. And then make these as long as you want. It's better to trim them a little longer. And then if you change your mind, you can still shorten them. And go a little bit shorter, I think. Not too much. There. And just kind of tighten those a bit. This would look cute with a darker yarn probably too. Same with the tail if it had been darker. And then I guess if you want to give the blue one a little bow too. I just tied that right around our little loops of hair. Originally, the girl was going to have a bow, and the boy was going to have tusks. But it was brought to my attention that some elephants, the females have tusks too. So, since I liked the tusks, and they were already on there, I decided to leave them on both. And once you're happy with the size of your loops, you just give them a trim. And I think we are done. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video, as well as any likes, shares, and comments are always appreciated. You can also go down in the description if you'd like the link to my Facebook craft page and want to share any of your makes with me on there. And as always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.